Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage, and today is a super improvised episode, super short. I'm doing this on my lunch break, but I think you can agree with me that for the longtime viewers, you probably might have seen that I've tried to buy this car in the past and I didn't do it, but this was way too good not to share it with you guys. What's going on guys? I am totally freestyling over here. At first I said to myself, you know, I'm not gonna record myself again before going to look at a car because I feel like it's bad karma. But in the same token, I also wanna document the journey, right? That's what it's all about anyways. So obviously I'm not gonna reveal what car it is because I want you guys to watch a little more of the video, but uh, let's just say I have been chasing this car for about two years and uh yeah covid hit and the rest is history you guys know all that goes uh, car prices went through the roof and people just went bananas but i think fingers crossed if everything goes well we're gonna get ourselves a new car for the channel today well guys i knew it i shouldn't have recorded it this is definitely not going to be the car let me show you guys what I was actually looking at. First, I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm not getting it. And then I'll show you the, the car. I guess the search continues. What a bummer. All right, so that should be a telltale sign of what we're looking at here today. But let me just show you what I did find. You open this trunk. First of all, the smell is overwhelming. And why are we having the floor showing over there? Not to mention when you look underneath the carriage there on these corners, they are rotting right through. Look at this side. This side is even worse, man. But this is, I mean, everything is here, but the toolkit, which we all know is actually pretty pricey. Let me get my glasses before I smash them up. But this is actually the reason why I'm not gonna buy it. One reason, this is probably needs addressing, so you can't even use the sunroof, but this is the deal breaker for me. I do not want more rusty cars. I can deal with this. I can totally deal with this. That's, that wasn't even a problem to me. But I have a problem with this. This I have a problem. Like, come on, man. I just cannot catch a break. Am I being too picky, guys? What do you think? Yes, a couple of dents here and there, but for the price I was about to pay for this, I just cannot do it. I'm not going to do it. I do not want one of these with rust in it. I mean, look at the fender. It's just, again, these are things that can be addressed. It's totally not a big deal, but come on. Rust? I don't want more rust. Yeah, sorry guys. Not leading you guys on, but at least now you guys know what I'm chasing. Oh yeah, and for those uh, that are curious, let me show you the mileage actually, I mean the seats. It's kind of a given. This is pretty typical. I mean, look at this one. That should be a dead giveaway how much he's actually trying to get for this car, but yeah, pretty low mileage, man. But other than this, there's like all sorts of cosmetic stuff going on here that, I mean, it is what it is, but I know I'm not buying a perfect specimen, but the problem is that's what led me to look at the roof there is that I started seeing these stains i hope this is like informative to some of you guys if you see stains in your headliner that's a telltale sign that something's definitely wrong see there's another little piece missing there i mean for what he's asking though i'm gonna have to walk away not to mention maybe somebody in the comment section can tell me is it me am i overreacting or that temperature looks a little on the high side this does not look normal to me let me know in the comments down below, but eh, that's it, guys. I'm going to have to walk away from this one. I got to say, though, see, this one's a little hard to. I didn't like the fact that this one didn't have uh, heated seats, wooden steering wheel. The wooden steering wheel, I could always get it uh, easily, but the fact that it didn't have 
the heated seats, I, I, I didn't like that. The um, cup holder does work sometimes. Yeah, when it feels like it. <laughs> Come on. No, it doesn't want to work. <laughs> Isn't that something? Well, last time I looked at this car, it worked with me. Apparently now it's shy, so it doesn't want to work. But that is it, guys. Let me go return this car. We're not pulling the trigger on this. So there you have it, guys. It was way too cool not to share with everybody. As I'm sure some of you know, I was chasing one of these. This was supposed to be the very first V8 I was going to buy, but my wife rightfully so convinced me to direct my funds elsewhere. <laughs> Zoomed in the wrong way. But boy, what a machine. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm a little lost for words. Yes, this is the only, in my eyes anyways, boo-boo on this car. It has met some uh, parking lot carnage for sure. I can just imagine these bumpers gotta be either discontinued or super hard to find. But hey, you know what? I would still take on this thing because the work that it does need is totally doable. Me personally, I am not a fan of the wheels. That's one of the things that it would have to go. But otherwise, 25 years later, man, look at it. I don't know about you, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with having something like this as a daily driver. Because I can assure you of one thing, it is very comfortable. Let's check out the back seat, shall we? Is the door open? Yes. <laughs> as you would expect, car from this era. Gotta have the ashtray and the cigarette lighter. Because, you know, you need to be smoking on your Lexus LS 400. You got all sorts of lights back here just for the rear passenger. And don't forget these, which help you with your reading needs while you're being chauffeured in the exquisite LS400. Very nice indeed. Th this is high quality leather, by the way, guys. I know it, you guys can't be here to feel it, but I can assure you this is uh, it's amazing. I'm lost for words the craftsmanship that went on to this car to me still lasts the test of time this is still a very much nice car i wish i could take it on sort it out and drive it but let's face it i might be pushing my luck to do that of course you gotta take care of your rear passengers with a little bit of air conditioning back here your pockets very nice. Quick overview here of the interior. Keep in mind, we are talking about a 98 here. Yeah, you saw that right. Mechanically telescopic steering wheel back in 98. Um, oh, did I show you guys the important bit? Yep, that is 77,000 miles unbelievable the condition that this car is in clearly I'm not in a position to be making this guy an offer but I'm not gonna lie it is very tempting everything works everything is where it should be this wood trim is still in fairly decent condition a little bit of fading on the shift knob as expected as it is one of the most used parts of this interior but it's all there man it's all there I'm sure you guys know the importance of this car I'm not gonna go and bore you guys with all this other stuff that people have talked about already very nice you can put your coins in there I'm just exploring it with you guys there's the switch for the Which still, for the most part, works. I know they can be a little finicky. But yeah, all this stuff has been touched by, in the past, by other YouTubers. I just couldn't pass up on the opportunity to share with you guys. Because, to me, 
this is kind of like the one that got away. But am I giving up on it? Eh, we shall see. So, yeah, pretty cool. Again, I'm sure you guys know what this switch is. I'll show you in action. I don't know about you, but I still think that's like the coolest thing till this day still. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> you can fine tune your sound to your taste. No, I won't. The fader over there. Actually, I should have put this back where I found it because they might actually care. Oops. Let's see. Center armrest here. Not too bad. Power outlet over there. Really cool. And you got a little vent there that connects to the back one, as you can see. Very clever indeed. I'm telling you, if given the time, that is your cabin air filter. Yes, in 98, this car had a cabin air filter. And you got right here your CD changer little compartment there as well and of course gotta have your glove box but as I was saying there were some Mercedes of the Sarah that compromise having um, or glove box excuse me doing this on the fly compromised having a glove box in order to have an airbag but as you can see here that was not a problem for Lexus they got the airbag and not only do they have the glove box, they also have another compartment for the CD changer as well. And of course, I'll give you guys a little view of this. This is pretty massive. That still works. Sunroof. As you can see here. You also have your garage opener. Tilt for the sunroof. Yeah, this is very cool, man. Again, this kind of stuff back in 98. Just keep that in mind. And would you look at that? Lumbar and all sorts of adjustment for your seat. Which, by the way, 25 years later, this still looks very much pristine in my eyes. There's absolutely no rips, no tears, no crazy wear to report on a car that's 25 years old. And of course, car of this age. Yes, the struts for the hood are worn indeed. But this is the party piece right there. As I'm sure you guys know. Well, look at that. I don't know if you guys see the smoke. So that smoke is actually another very common problem with these cars. And that would be your valve cover gaskets. It's basically dumping oil right on top of uh, the manifolds. So I'll uh, perfect timing there to show you guys that. Uh, this car, unfortunately, has all of the typical issues of the LS400s. You know, leaking uh, power steering pump right on top of the alternator. So it does have a charging uh, problem, which is, of course, the alternator. He's going to have to sort out the power steering pump and alternator at the same time. But listen, oh man, what a perfect candidate this is. This uh, one UZFE is still very much smooth as it was 25 years ago when this car left the showroom but again it was too good not to share with you guys uh, these are if i'm not mistaken in the last let's take a look mm, i'm not sure no it feels like plastic all right so they're plastic headlights it's not the end of the world 25 years later I don't know about you, but it still looks pretty good, right? All right. Let's take a look at the trunk, shall we? Because this one does have one thing that most of these have missing. Yes, you guessed it. Your toolkit. Toolkit on these cars is oftentimes missing. It's all there. Let's put it back where it belongs. It's a shame that sometimes when you go look at one of these used, that is missing. There's your emergency pool for your gas tank there. 
pretty cool very clever stays up there with the little felt very nice speaking of which this takes you guessed it premium leather gas very soft again very spacious trunk as i'm sure you can agree i am very sure you can fit two golf bags in here and all sorts of other things let's see spare tire wise how are we looking here yeah it's all there as expected with the respective tools full-size spare as you would expect from a luxury car of course now let's go ahead close this trunk and goes without saying i'm sure you guys know these are gold plated and oftentimes missing so next time you see an ls 400 and it's missing the badge now you know why for every single ls 400 out there because i have checked and uh, looked to buy quite a few and that is one of the things that i did see but this particular one and this particular day today right here right now there is no rust the one car that i did check and i ended up walking away from it the rust was actually forming up here and there is no rust not to mention the other one was actually sealed silicone sealed shut this sunroof and i do not see any signs of rust anywhere what still blows my mind about this car is the attention to detail i mean look at this little trim here in the back glass that is really cool that says a lot about the person driving the car that means that you care about what you're driving to me it does anyways 25 years later and it still looks very classy i know i know guys i'm over here drooling because i because i am that's because i am <laughs> all right my man tj is working on this beauty but figure give you guys a shot at the bottom Nothing crazy here to see. Obviously, a rear wheel drive. All of you already know that. Wow, spider webs everywhere. I wonder if this thing was sitting. Of course. TJ sorting out a bunch of oil leaks. What do you think, TJ? Original exhaust? Oh, yeah. Looks like it. I think it's original everything. Wow. Yeah, that's that's kind of the problem with this car. Let's see if that picks up on camera. There's a lot of this going on. But, yeah, we are going to take care of it, of course, and change some gaskets. But that's that. As I told you guys, you don't see much. I mean, yeah, this is surface rust, really. We're, what we're concerned with is the body here. That's what we are looking at, and I don't really see anything major as far as rust. Keep in mind, this is a 25-year-old car, but look at this kind of technology back in 98. I mean, that's crazy. Leveling sensor, huh? That's really cool. But there you have it. the cool little aspect not too accentuated but if you look at these front wipers they kind of sort of tuck away underneath the what do they call them in uh, England bonnet under the hood right sure that has a lot to do with aerodynamics I mean the wipers kind of stick out a little bit but not excessively this probably with the correct wipers in there is very much tucked away and creating all the proper aerodynamic that they were looking for at the time see how they tuck underneath really cool again another super cool detail maybe somebody in the comment section can let us all know what's this all about but how cool is this that the door the gas door as its own like um, backing to it of course the spot to put the gas cap pretty obvious but so does the body i mean this is like attention to detail galore going on here and something tells me with the engagement that this has that this is probably 
supposed to sound like that or keep it quiet from rattling. Maybe somebody can clarify that in the comment section down below. Here's another clever little detail. So, you want to unfrost your window, though you don't want to compromise the driver's ability to receive some of that air. Very easy solution. Let's just route it directly to the window. How about that? That's a super cool detail. A little child lock action here with this type of uh, engagement. Usually it's a little toggle type of switch up or down kind of thing. Super small and uh, with lacking of uh, detail, but look at that. Now in the LS400, they needed a super cool knob just for the child lock. Of course you gotta have the outside temperature. When you drive an LS400, those things are important. And check that out. Three nozzles, baby, for the washer fluid because two just wouldn't be sufficient. And how's that for an angle, guys? Right there, you got the iconic LS400 and hiding right behind my head is the 4Runner. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a short one, but it was too good not to share with you guys. I will catch you guys on the next one.